We are at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the 33rd race of the SCRL Classic Cup Series, Season 1. The 29, I needed HPK, will be leading us to the green flag, starting beside her. We have the 89, I'm Morgan McPherson. Rest of the qualifying lineup. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. After a controversial and very confusing race at Dover, we come to Charlotte, otherwise known as Lowe's Motor Speedway. Oh, we got a driver stalling up. That's the 55 of Egan Cunningham. Egan Cunningham, excuse me. We are using a brand new Charlotte. We are using Charlotte version 1992. Of course, the first one we used 1990. So, camera angles seem to be a little off. But that's all right, I guess. The driver who won the first Lowe's or Charlotte event, Noodles Newly, is no longer with this league, so we will have a first time winner at Charlotte. Maybe. Second race in a row. We are going to have 40 laps. Pace car is in. We are racing at Charlotte. Need a HBK leads him into turn one. And a turn two. That six car Don Miller looking to win back to back races. He won at Dover. Remains in second place. Need a HBK keeps her race lead. And the 29 will lead the first lap. And pick up five bonus points. And she's already built up a little bit of a lead, about two, two car lengths over Aurea Centaur. Sabrina Ace Vidu is in third now. Still looking for that first win in this series. I think. Yes. And the 12 and the 14 are catching the 29. Oh, 14 wants second. Nope. Not enough power. And there you see the 55. Egan Cunningham is still stalled up. Oh. He's getting tires, it seems. Yep, Egan will finally come off the track. He'll get points. That's good. The rest of the field back here. That 99 car, that's what won the first event. It's being driven by Gabriel Wonderly. So if Gabriel wants to have the 99 win back-to-back -back Charlotte races, he's going to have to pick it up. And we got a battle for the lead. And Aureus is now the race leader in that 12 car. Maintains his race lead in the turn four. And we'll lead a lap. We've got some cars moving up to 21, a clean glove. That's taken third. B 
being held by the 77, uh, Piper Ace v And we're catching lap traffic slowly. Egan Cunningham. We got a battle for lead. Sabrina Ace v Still looking for that first ever win. She's been through so much. Got spun out by Matt Dalio at Pocono. Coulda, woulda, shoulda won that race. She's been knocking on Victory Lane's door, but it hasn't been opened yet for her. We got three-way battle for third. The two, Grayson Ace Vidu. So we got two Vidus in the top five. Here comes Grayson for the lead. Oh, whoops, sorry. Clean. I was looking at the wrong one. Clean driving for the Wood Brothers. Has not yet scored a win, but Holden has. Might be a little jealous of Clean. I mean, of Holden. We got battle for second, Jake Ferguson in the 88 car. Ferguson is still winless in this series, although he does have a truck win. Here comes the 15 of Bronson Campo. No wins for that 15 car. There's Egan in turn one. And they are in turn one. So we'll be catching lap traffic. The 88's waiting. Twenty one maintains the race lead. I'm going to be so glad when I get this series done. Do other ones, maybe IROC, maybe the ASA, because that, that series was very fun. Who knows, maybe I'll do ARCA. Maybe I'll do the rally cars or something like that. Maybe the Grand National mod, you know, 63 mod, something like that. Although I might hold that off for a while. And then, anyway, of course, we got to do the main cup series. And the bush, and the truck. I think we're going to start off on 2013 for those series. And then move forward. I don't think I'll... I I don't think I will allow custom cars unless it's, you know, on that number you pick and then you could probably send it to me or something like that. You need HPK wants to lead in that classic Hardee's car that Kale Yarbrough used to drive. And she will take over and lead that lap. Nita HPK is already a two-time winner this season. She won at Auto Club, otherwise known as California, and she also won at Talladega, that crappy track. The two won second. And the two will take over second place. Well, not yet. But I should have the preferred line. And we have caught lap traffic. Egan Cunningham, the 55 car. One win, had problems at the very start of the race. Just trying to hold on, hoping for some wrecks so he can gain some spots. 
Need HPK is trying to get around him. But can't do it yet. Battle for second. The 52 of Abby Collins has now taken over second. Being helped by the 14 of Sabrina Ace V Dude. And need HPK wants to lap the 55. And she should have the preferred line. Let's see what camera two looks like. There we go. Change it up a little bit. Need to HBK. Leads him into turn four. Around the lap traffic. And across the line. We complete another lap. We have been caution free the whole race. Which is not very wreck this this is this is not usual. Normally they're they wreck at Charlotte. Even when I do my offline leagues, you know, for my form. But they're not wrecking. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't want to see them wreck because they wreck a lot at Dover. They wreck a lot at Daytona and Talladega. The 14 gave a peek, but she didn't go. The 21 will go, though. Nope. Not enough power in that Ford. Okay, we are going to get the halfway point this time. Let's see who has the fastest lap. That would be the 70 car. Katie Collins. Running all the way back in 20th spot. So see, that's the old adage that you could have the fastest car, but that doesn't mean you'll go to victory lane. Back up front, we got battle for the lead. The 15 of Bronson Campo takes over. Looks like Egan wants one of his laps back. Yes, well, he's five laps down. I just noticed that. So he's going to have to pray and hope for a lot of people to wreck to gain any spots. Don Miller in the six, looking to win back-to-back -back races. He has two wins this season. Right? No, only one? No, he won twice. He won at Michigan and he won at Dover. Looking for a win, number three. I think he also won a bush race, didn't he? Didn't he win the bush race at Dover? Yes, he did. And at Bristol. So I think this will be, what, career win number four? If he wins. Here comes a 52 of Abby Collins. Being pushed by Gibson Monsell in the 44 car. Monsell won the all-star race. So he's looking to win two Charlotte events in the same season. Oh, we got a new challenger up front. That's 0-4. Catco White Lion. The dominator of the truck series. She basically has that series wrap up, wrapped up with one race to go. Which we'll get to that race once we get down to the last race in the Cup Series. So we'll have the trifecta. We'll have the Cup, Truck, and Bush all at Homestead at the same last race. Give some on sale. We'll lead that lap. Laps are counting down. We got 15 to go. Egan Cunningham moves in, well, to second, but he's a lap down. White Line wants him to move out of the way. She had a terrible week. I mean, 
She had a terrible race at Dover in the last event. Blew an engine only five laps into the race. Finished way back in 40th spot. Oh, Egan wants his lap back. I mean, his car is pretty fast. It's able to stay up front, but he's multiple laps down. And White Line will lose three spots. Well, technically two. Cuts down right in front of Don Miller, so she can remain in fourth. And the front 10 are single file. 21, a clean glove, wants to get around Ronnie Ace Vidu. Let's see, where is he at? Well, there's Jesse Turner way up high. That's where he does not want to be. Let's see. Benny Sanchez is way back in 39th spot. We got, no, he's lap down. I keep forgetting that. Zachary Fitzwater, who was leading at Dover, coulda, woulda, shoulda won the race, but for some reason that everybody had to pit with what won to go when they shouldn't have. So I still don't understand that. I really don't. You'd probably say I had the pit options on. I didn't have the op to pit on. They just started pitting. Ten to go this time. We have been caution free all race long. Is that good or bad? I mean, it's action packed. I mean, look at look at them racing. But it's kind of boring. You want to see Rex? Fitzwater is trying to move up again. Where's the 25 at? There he is, Michael Cates. Not doing all that good, but he's not on his roof because for the last two races, he's flipped over. And there's our points leader. Benny Sanchez in 34th and in 2nd in points is Bulldog 67 and there he is in 22nd so that one changed the point lead back up front we got a 3 car breakaway Leroy Grangler finally broke that winless streak with a win at New Hampshire Trying to get into contention. Abby Collins wants to get around the lap car. Which Egan should probably move out of the way. Let these drivers have a clean race. Monsell's got about, uh, let's say a four, maybe three car length lead. Two cars trying to go around the 55. Ronnie Ace Vidu driving that 11 Budweiser car. Still trying to get around him. Still trying to get around him. Oh, we got a battle for the lead. Abby Collins. Abby has never won a race in this league, to my knowledge. And Abby will lead a lap. Next time by, it'll be four laps to go. Egan Cunningham is back up in the second if he wasn't a lap down. Uh, 
And there's Egan making the move, which that'll help the 11 car of Ronnie Ace Vidu. That's a very familiar sight, that 11 leading at Charlotte. Darrell Waltrip won many times at Charlotte with that car, both in the Cup and Bush. Well, I guess Xfinity now series. Ronnie's doing a good job in that 11 car. Oh. Abby, I guess, didn't like hearing me say that. Abby's driving Jimmy Means car. Oh, oh, Monsell wants to make it three wide. Oh, Ronnie backed out of it. Abby Collins back to the lead. Two laps to go. Next time by, we'll get the white. Will we finish it under green? Abby's got about a two car link lead over Gibson Monsell. And to turn three. And to turn four. And there it is, white flag, one lap to go. We will finish this race under green. Abby's got lap traffic of Egan Cunningham in the way. Does Monsell have enough time? I don't think he does. Down the back stretch and turn three for the final time. And it's going to hold out. Off the final turn, Abby Collins will win at Charlotte. Yeah. She held on to win her first race in this league. Here are your race results. Abby Collins scores the win. Second is Gibson Monsell. Third is Henrietta Fitzwater. Fourth is Matt Johnson. Fifth is Kaka White Lion. Sixth is Don Miller. Seventh is Leroy Grangler. Eighth is Oreo Centaur. Ninth is Bulldog 67. And tenth is Colleen Glubb. A caution free race at Charlotte. 41 drivers finished the race on the lead lap. And Egan Cunningham was the only driver who did not finish the race on the lead lap. He was four laps down. And now we will take you to Victory Lane with Abby Collins. Here are the point standings after the race at Charlotte. Benny Sanchez has a 91 point lead over Bulldog 67. And he's the only other driver that can be mathematically challenged for the championship lead right now. So we will see you at the next race at Texas. <laughs>